Let's talk about my favorite style of breathwork for traumatic brain injury. Breathwork can come in many different shapes and sizes, with the most popular types of breathwork having roots in yogic style breathing, but there's also things like Wim Hof breathing styles. But my personal favorite is something called resonance frequency breathing using something called heart rate variability biofeedback. This 2023 randomized clinical trial looked at the effects of heart rate variability biofeedback for patients with mild traumatic brain injury, and the results of this study reflect similar results to what we see to the patients that we recommend this to in our practice. Frequency breathing is a slow-paced breathing style that usually encompasses taking about anywhere from four and a half to six and a half breaths per minute. And the unique thing about these paces of breathing is that when we slow down our breathing cycles, we start to match the rhythm of our breath with some of the internal rhythms of our cardiovascular system through things like your baroreceptors that are inside some of our arteries and the actual heart rate itself, as well as the rhythms of For most people, this is going to be a pace of about six breaths per minute. And this pace is gonna be one breath for every 10 seconds. So that might mean five seconds in and five seconds out. I personally like four seconds in, six seconds out because of its effect on the vagus nerve. About the vagus nerve in the past, but all we need to know now is that the vagus nerve gets stimulated by this pace of breathing. And when we activate the vagus nerve, it has unique cardiovascular effects. It also has unique anti-inflammatory breathing with a biofeedback device like you see right over here, which is called HRV4 Biofeedback, which basically uses your phone and turns it into a biofeedback device where you can place your finger along the camera of the phone and it's going to measure your pulse and it's going to have a moving line that's going to give you your pace of breathing, which is going to set at your customized rate, which I usually set it at device similar to this in this study, which is a randomized trial where they compared doing this HRV biofeedback breathing style compared to people that are getting generalized advice for that did the HRV biofeedback showed statistically significant improvement in cognitive and emotional scores, and they also showed drastic improvements in their heart rate variability, meaning that they're recommend HRV biofeedback as a useful and easily accessible tool for patients to be able to do these types of breathing exercises. And you can even do the breathing exercise without the biofeedback, but a lot of people are really into gadgets and like having things that can be measured. So you have to have a choice of breathing five seconds in, five seconds out, or four seconds in, six seconds out or doing it in a way where you could use this app and it'll pace your breathing for you. All that matters is you do something that you find that is going to be relaxing so the breath work shouldn't stress you out. And if you are using technology and it's stressing you out, then do it without technology and find a pace where you can breathe where it doesn't create increases in anxiety because some people just aren't used to expanding their day.